everybody, it's Tim from Tutorial for Tim, and we're going to do a video here on the Zebo mod for the 737. Um, what this video is going to do, or what I'm going to do with this video, is basically just walk you through the FMC and IRS setup to get your IRS selectors aligned, working with your FMC so you can actually use your autopilot and have navigation. So, without any further ado, let's get into that. Let's get some power to this aircraft real fast so we can actually do so. Ground power. Okay. <clears throat> so, we've got power now to the aircraft. You see that your screens are black. Um, you've got some data here, but uh, for the most part, your panel screens are black. So we're going to go down, and what the other thing you might have already noticed here with this mod is that if you can't click the FMC anymore to pop up another window, you know, of it. So I would recommend creating a hotkey um, to take you in quick to it. What you might see on yours, um, because I have updated X-Plane 11's nav data to have the current AirX cycle in my FMC. So you might see some information here, just to clear until all your messages have gone away and then you're left with this screen. Step one that I always, excuse me, that I always do, step one is going to extras and then others and then change this over to short which is the align time. So it doesn't take nine minutes. It, it's fine, it doesn't matter, but for the you know purpose of this video I'm not going to sit here with a nine minute wait time just for the alignment of the IRS selector. So, um, and then click back and that's it. Um, so that's part set. You're good to go. So step two, obviously, in this whole process with the FMC is you want to put in your route. Where are you at currently? Which we're currently we're sitting in Phoenix. So KPHX. <coughs> origin. And then for this, let's just say we're going to go to San Diego. So K S A N. And then destination. All right, so we've got our from and to in here. So let's go into performance initiations. So click this, and this is gonna bring you to the performance INIT. Click the first button, and it's gonna automatically generate your weight and input your weight and everything else in that. We go to reserves here, so let's just say we have five for, for fuel reserves, and the cost index of nine. Now some if you some flat like sim brief will give you the cost index um, but again it doesn't really matter it's not really going to affect your overall performance as much and it's definitely not going to have any effect on your autopilot so just f figure a number between four and ten for your cost index it's not a big deal um, and then that's it so this is this screen is set and ready to go and then you'll see over here it says index or n1 limit so let's go to your n1 limit now we're in the N1 limit. <clears throat> so we're going to simply go over to this top button and just click it. And that's going to generate the information that that needs. So that, that screen's also set as well for right now. So then you see, you can go back or you can go to takeoff. So let's go to takeoff. Okay. And right here, up on the flaps so whatever you use whatever you generally take off the flaps whether it's like a 1 5 10 20 it doesn't matter it's up to you whatever you generally use so let's I use one um, so let's say one and then you enter now this is going to bring up recommendation then there you go as you just saw it pop up so just click your v1 VR and v2 so that's v1 speeds rotate speeds and v2 speeds and that is all you have to do on this section here so then you can literally go straight to your departure and arrival um, and for that we need a route so let's go to sim brief here and generate a route we're going phoenix kp hx to san diego so k san and okay so we're going judas six the mohawk the hogs to lucky one Two six nine. Okay, so departure is June sixth. Mohawk transition. 
on a runway 26. And our arrival is the lucky one. The hogs transition on runway 9, I believe is what it said. <clears throat> and that's it. Do not select the transition here. Um, the route, activate, and then execute. And let's go to legs. Just check it. Make sure there's no... So we've got some discontinuity there. So let's click this. Actually, let's... Clear that. Yeah. Okay, so let's clear that. The cogs right in there. And we should. Yeah, we're good on that. <coughs> so once we've got that, let's go ahead and set our cruise altitude. So we'll click cruise. And then let's say 26,000 feet to show a flight. Um, to clear that because we don't have IRS selected yet. So then you go back to legs and you'll see, you know, your, your altitudes have been inputted in there. Um, now, here's where we want to go. Click INIT. So this screen will change here in a second. Then you need to go up to your IRS selectors. Click Align. And wait till it aligns. Align, but now click the second one. Align. And it's aligned. So now go over here and change this to H D G N S T S. Now you'll see this time right here in one minute. Now click nav and click nav. Now you'll see on here. It says enter IRS position. So, so take where you are right now, which is APHX. So click this and click your IRS position. And just wait until that goes from one to zero, which it will shortly. And you'll notice that your panels will come alive and bring you the information that you need here. And voila, they are on, Let's clear that. So now you have your route and you're able to fly and use your AP or your autopilot and, and actually have some screens to see. <laughs> and, and that is it. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment and ask. I will do and I will be putting more and working on more videos for this Zebo mod uh, for you guys. <coughs> on different various parts of that but this was the IRS and the FMC we'll get into other things if you have a video that you'd like me to do um, if you're having any problems I do have a discord I'll put the links to the to adding me on discord where you can actually directly contact me um, and we can chat and talk if you have any questions I'm definitely able to to assist you you know that way and help you as much as I can with that so that is it. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you later.